Bruce. Uh, today we have with us in, in the studio uh, a group from one of the, in my, in my opinion, one of the best places for kids to hang out and, and participate and learn, uh, Explorations 5 Children's Museum. And uh, we have with us George Ann Carlton. She is the CEO of Explorations 5. And we also have Chrissy Schaff. Chrissy is, sits as the board president there at the museum. And we also have Sam Houghton. Uh, Sam is on the board of directors for the Children's Museum. Hey guys, thanks for coming in and uh, hanging out with us today. Tell us about your event. Now, before we get into uh, what's actually going on, tell us a little bit um, about the Children's Museum and what kind of activities are available, what kind of services there are. Well, you know, Steve, all kids love to spend time with their favorite adult. And regardless of what the weather is like outside, whether it's cold or hot or rainy or humid, the Children's Museum has three floors of exhibits and programs for the kids to explore. And we appeal to children from ages birth to 12 and their families, and all the exhibits are designed for them to be able to interact together. So it's a great place for them to be able to spend quality time with their favorite adult. The exhibits range from the arts to the sciences, uh, from Our Town on the first floor to Ois for Oranges from Sea to Our World with various continents represented on the lower floor, and all sorts of science explorations on the second floor in the Children's Art Gallery. Plus, we have programs going on Monday through Saturday, so it's a, a very exciting and engaging place for kids to really get in and get involved and find out what they're really interested in and develop some creativity. Now, I've, I've been in the I've been in the museum there before, and and one of my favorite places is is the bottom floor, the citrus, <laughs> and and it's pretty cool because you've got you've got all kinds of conveyor belts, and it really highlights. Um, the local business, you know, with, with the citrus growers and processing and everything. So I think that's that's a, a really cool part. Um, just kind of explain a little bit uh, some of the other floors, what actually goes on on those. Well, each floor has a different theme. And on the first floor, we explore our town. The whole concept of most children's museums is helping children become comfortable with themselves and the world around them. So a place that looks like a model town that is designed just specially for their size um, gives them the opportunity to get in and explore. And when you, when you come to our children's museum, you'll find a stage where the children can become part of the uh, music or the theater or the performing or a part of the audience. Um, you'll also find a TV station, a model TV station that is supported by Bay News 9 where they can get on camera, read scripts, and so they're learning all sorts of things when they're at the Children's Museum. Move into the Publix Explore Store, where, I don't know about you, but when I go to the grocery store with my kids, everything is, don't touch. In a Children's Museum, it's please touch everything, and that's how kids learn, is when they get in, just like big kids. The more we do, the more we learn. Most of us learn best by doing. Right. And it goes on and on. We have 18 different exhibits that explore our world. An exhibit that gets into the medical center, as well as um, water matters and water conservation, and a whole transportation series from a fire truck to a space shuttle. Now, George, you have some, uh, some new exhibits opening up at the uh, Children's Museum. Tell us a little bit about some of those uh, new things going on there. So Thank you. 
you guys are a, uh, a not-for-profit, um, and of course, that means that you have to find your funds in different ways, whether it be through donors or fundraising campaigns. And that's what we're here to talk about tonight is, is one of your big events, or, um, the Night at the Museum. Uh, Christy, can you tell us a little bit about what the Night at the Museum is and, and how this is all going to play out? Yes, this is actually um, our second year doing a Night at the Museum. Last year was the first year for our 20th anniversary. This year the museum is 21 years old. So we are very excited to be able to open up the museum for grown-ups. Um, most of the time the museum is for children. This event is a 21 and up only. And whenever you come to the museum this night, you're going to come into, you'll actually come in and be able to experience some of our inside exhibits. Uh, we will have Disney jazz bands set up inside the museum so that you can enjoy the sounds of Disney. Because Disney is one of our major sponsors for this event. Um, as you move outside, we will have um, rest, different area restaurants set up, which I'll let Sam touch on that in a moment. Um, we also will have the Sofa Kings performing out so that we have a dance band so people can come out, get something to drink, get something to eat, dance under the stars. This is a really, really cool opportunity because, like you said, the Children's Museum is always about the children. And uh, in this event, although it is still about the children, it's about raising money so that you can educate and, and give them a place to learn. Uh, you know, this is going to be a very adult-oriented, you know, night. It's, it's going to be pretty. It's going to be outside, inside. Um, so I'm really excited about it. I think, I think it's going to be really great. There's some other stuff going on as well. Um, Sam, you had said to me earlier about uh, some uh, restaurant competition going on. Tell us a little bit about that. This is going to be a fun event uh, to bring your sweetheart out to. And it really, you know, the dancing, the food for 50 bucks, I mean, you're going to be sampling the food from some of the best restaurants around. 
Uh, so you're getting your, your money's worth in the food alone, and then uh, drinks, uh, two, two drinks included in that $50, plus the dancing. I mean, this is going to be a great night out, and to know that that money is going towards uh, the Children's Five, uh, ex- excuse me, Explorations Five Children's Museum. It's always a mouthful, but uh, yeah, it really, really seems like a great event. Um, can you tell us a little bit about how to get in touch or contact information, websites, stuff like that? Yeah. So, right, it's a great thing to have this time about last year. We had so many folks that were like, oh, this is cool. We can't even get a phone call. 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 We can't even get